If you're struggling with aggressive nightmare mode in FNAF 3, here's how I beat it without even using the audio lure once. I'll have a proof of concept running in the background while I explain the strategy. Now this was relayed to me by Mr. Benji on Twitch, also known as Dusk. I claim no credit for discovering this. I'm not sure I could have discovered this by myself, honestly. Counterintuitive as it is, this strategy is consistent as long as you're a quick clicker. I'll explain the strategy itself first, and then give as best of an explanation for how it works afterwards. During the first hour, flip the camera back and forth every three seconds or so. That is, wait three seconds, rapidly open then close the monitor, and repeat. Until 1am, phantoms cannot spawn, and Springy can't enter vents. Optionally, you can use this time to change the vent cam and shut a vent of your choice, however this isn't necessary. Once 1am hits, keep an eye out for Phantom Freddy. If Springy gets to the window before Freddy, reset. Once Fred shows up, keep the monitor down. After not using the monitor slash maintenance panel for 3 seconds, Freddy will jump scare you. Now you're going to want to time a ventilation restart after he moves to jump scare, but before he hits. This restarts the ventilation even with the panel down. After this, return to the 3 second flip process and keep an eye on your left. After enough time, Springtrap will run from the left of your office to the right, behind the monitor. You have now entered the strategy's endgame. You're now in an endless 8 second cycle of camera flips. The timing should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, flip, 8. The up should be in the 7th second, and the flip down by the 8th. So like, 7, up, down, 8. As quick as you can. Now simply repeat this for the remaining 4 to 5 minutes of the night. Now, here's my guess as to how this works. Firstly, to be clear, each hour in this game is 1 minute long. So, you have 6 minutes to survive, maximum 5 minutes from endgame. Having a timer active is very helpful to keep track of your 8 second cycles. Freddy seems to keep showing up throughout the night unless he jump scares you earlier. He shows up the less you use the camera, which is why we do 3 second cycles in the first hour. More camera use seems positively correlated with him not showing up before Springy. In my case on screen, Foxy got me first, but as long as you do the reset Freddy combo, by the time Springy comes by, you'll be okay. Ventilation goes out either by being jump scared or by not using the cameras often enough. This is why we do the 8 second cycle towards the end. Springtrap can't attack or move from anywhere that you can see him unless you open a screen or your screen goes black from ventilation slash jump scares. This includes behind the window, in the doorway, or behind you in the office. 8 seconds seems to be the perfect amount of time to balance keeping the ventilation alive without risking Springy too often. Further, it seems Springtrap requires a roughly 0.75 second duration of panels being open to be able to attack, which allows for his animations to play fully. The phantoms of BB, Puppet, Chica, Mangle, and Foxy, mostly, are entirely ignored. As you saw, there's a chance Foxy will appear before you start the strat, but the rest will never be a problem in the slightest as long as you never go look at their cameras, and Foxy won't get you post Freddy because you never look to the left. Hopefully this helps someone complete this night if you've been struggling with the conventional way. Let me just add, if this is the method that you use to beat this night, you have officially beaten this game. As long as you aren't using cheats and hacks, whether in-game or external, you beat this game by capitalizing on its mechanics working as intended. Never let anybody say that you haven't finished this game. Alright, I hope this helped. Have a great day. God bless.